Hey lovely Aquarius, welcome to Free Spirited Tarot Guidance. This is a general read today for Aquarius, no matter where that falls in your chart. As a general read, it won't resonate with everybody, but if you don't find a message in today's story for you, just check out another aspect of your chart or one of the other readings because they're all timeless. Aquarius, thank you so much for liking the videos, hitting subscribe and leaving me your wonderful comments. I love hearing from you. If you're new here, welcome on board. It's your interaction alone that helps YouTube videos to grow and be visible. Um, most of us don't ask for likes <laughs> to flatter our egos. It's because the videos just get lost if they don't have any interaction. So I appreciate you taking the time to do so. Aquarius, if you'd like to know anything about me or the tarot in general, just check out the description box below. Okay, let's find out what you need to know. Does Aquarius need to know what's coming in for Aquarius? The High Priestess. Beautiful energy here. The High Priestess is all about intuition, using your intuition, or maybe going into your subconscious mind, doing a little bit of digging around there. Also, Aquarius, the High Priestess is all to do with secrets, so something might be hidden from you right now, uh, but you've got an intuitive tug about it. I'll get a general overview here on the board and then we'll clarify for details with a different deck. Tell me more. Wow, the Two of Cups. This might be what your intuition is telling you about, Aquarius. This is a beautiful soulmate connection this is a partnership this is two people coming together now it usually does indicate a romantic love situation but it can be a partnership in any area of life one thing that's for sure though is that this is a important soul connection an intense soul connection and one that's usually surrounded by a whole lot of love this might be hidden from you at the moment with the high priestess or as I said you might just feel this coming into your life tell me more king of wands this could be who is coming forward to you this represents fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now in the tarot, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're dealing with one of those star signs. It just means that fiery energy. This person is determined, they're dynamic, they've got a lot of en energy and passion. They're often someone who takes charge, is in a leadership role. Lots of fiery energy here with the King of Wands. The beautiful thing about the King of Wands is he is a person, male or female, there's no gender in tarot. This person's taking action. So if you've got an intuitive tug that someone's coming towards you um, or you might have just started seeing someone and it's that type of connection where you feel like you've known them forever, uh, that's what looks like coming in here. This person is coming in with a whole lot of passion and determination. Tell me more. Beautiful reading so far, Aquarius. Okay, the uh, only one of the signs this week that's received such a beautiful general overview. We are coming up with the Seven of Wands here, though. Now, I'm not sure whether this, this person coming in is going to make you feel a little bit defensive. That's what the Seven of Wands indicates. It can also indicate needing to put your boundaries in or sticking up for yourself, sticking up for your opinions. See her in that bubble there. She's meditating and kind of warding off all of those wands that are coming to prod her and poke her and jab her. <laughs> That's what she's doing. She's not having a bar of it. She's saying, I don't want a bar of your drama and your crap. I've got my defences firmly in. So we'll find out more there. He could have dealt with... Um, oh, hang on a minute. Flying cards. I was just going to say with the Seven of Wands, he could have dealt with a, a not... Uh, like quite a toxic relationship in the past and that is that has made you put defences up towards another relationship coming on in but boy it is coming in and it is filled with passion with the knight of wands here the knight of wands like the king of wands this is fast action now a lot of readers um 
say that the Knight of Wands is the player card, someone that rushes in, rushes out. It can be, it depends on the cards surrounding it, so we'll find out more. For me, this is just a lot of fiery action coming your way. This is the spark of something new, the spark of something passionate. can also be the spark of a creative new endeavour. Aquarius, also someone could be coming towards you with all this passion and you're feeling a little de bit defensive about it and going, oh, this is a bit too full on, what's going on here? <laughs> Tell me more. Wow, and we have the Knight of Swords. Wow, you just put your seatbelt on Aquarius for some fast action. The Knight of Swords is coming in super quick. Look at him rushing towards that motorbike. Not only is he running, but he's getting on a motorbike to go even faster. Now you have the King of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. This person coming towards you, or these readings could always be reversed. So this could be how you feel towards another person. You want to rush in towards another person and offer, offer them um, something to do with this beautiful soul connection here. Something's been sparked here, Aquarius. It looks absolutely beautiful so far. There's just a little bit of cautious energy here possibly coming from you. Tell me more. Eight of Pentacles. This is all about working towards something. This is when we're working on our goals. So Aquarius, you could be doing this right now. You could have your head down working really hard on your career, on your goals, on your passion projects. And maybe that's why this is maybe making you feel a little bit defensive this person rushing towards you with so much fire and energy and passion because you've had your head stuck in work this can mean we're overworking a little bit you know when life is just all about work and there's not too much else going on um we'll find out more but it looks like this person's coming rushing in and that might disrupt that a little bit you could be in the situation where you feel a bit defensive about that because you are working on something amazing. You know, Aquarius, you're such a visionary. You're always working on something new and amazing to put into the world. And it might be, this might come in at a time where you feel like you don't have any time because you've got so much on, working on so many things. Um, just, just made me think, so many balls up in the air, you know, you've got so much to do. Tell me more, two more before we clarify. The Seven of Swords, okay, it gets more and more interesting. The Seven of Swords can depict lies and deceptions, someone trying to sneak away with someone, but it also can depict someone just taking a really big risk and perhaps a risk towards you here. So this King, King of Wands, it might be... Uh, it might feel to them like they're taking a risk or it might feel to you, Aquarius, that you'd be taking a risk, um, accepting whatever this <laughs> fiery King of Wands is coming in to offer you. Wow, I wasn't ready then. One more before we clarify for details. It almost feels like this is going to startle, startle you or shock you and you're just going to kind of pull back and go, whoa, wow, death and rebirth card, certainly going to transform your life. This is a beautiful card, the death card, nothing to be scared of here. This is about complete transformation, Scorpio energy, but this is all about um, a whole new way of life coming towards you, shedding skins. So it always means moving away from one cycle and transforming towards a whole new one so for you Aquarius at the moment it could be moving away from working so hard working so much having that as the primary focus of your life uh, because some kind of shocking love situation is going to come in and kind of bombard you is what it looks like let's clarify it's quite thrilling there's a thrilling and exciting energy with this reading which might be why it's throwing you into feeling a little cautious. Clarify the High Priestess. <laughs> 
Aquarius, the High Priestess is being clarified by the High Priestess. <laughs> so this is a very strong message here. This is completely hidden from you at the moment. I think it's going to come and just, just sideswipe you. There's a person and uh, they may very well have hidden feelings from you. That's written all over this reading. Currently they're being sneaky about it and I don't mean sneaky in a bad way because <clears throat> the Seven of Swords isn't coming out with any toxic cards at the moment, any any indication of any bad behavior. I think they've just hidden their feelings from you. This could be someone in your workplace. It could be one of your friends. It could be someone that you see on your morning jogs and that you just say hi to on the beach whatever this person has hidden feelings from you for, for you and I don't think you know about it or you could with the high priestess there you could just have a little inkling regardless they're going to come rushing in and they have been hiding this passion for you they've been hiding these feelings from you whoever this is um, <laughs> with the high priestess coming out to clarify the high priestess I love it just in case we didn't know that something was hidden from you here and it does look like someone's passion for you. That's what's hidden. Someone's got a huge crush on you and they've been sneaking around here not telling you about it. Clarify the Seven of Wands. This might be why you'll feel a little bit defensive because it's such a surprise. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're feeling defensive, Aquarius, because uh, you're a little bit scared to take a new leap of faith with the Fool card here. So this person rushing in. Uh, you'll know that this means leaping into a whole new beginning, a whole new phase. Now the Fool is the very beginning of a cycle. It's beautiful. It's when we leap off cliffs into brand new beginnings as indicated by the Death card here. But we always feel a little scared. Look at her looking down there. She's up high. She's thinking, oh my God, that's a long way down. I want to go. I'm packed. I'm ready to go. But I feel a little bit defensive and scared. And this is why... You're going to be in this seven of wands mode because you know that <clears throat> taking a leap towards this person um, is going to create such huge change for you and that makes us all feel defensive and kind of cautious and oh my goodness especially because this has been hidden to you for, from you up until this point now Aquarius I'm reading this as it is as a love reading because of the two of cups but this could also absolutely mean a new creative endeavor coming towards you or that you really want to dive into and that there's hidden factors that you haven't quite worked out yet the wands cards are always about creative endeavors and we do have the eight of pentacles here so you could have been working on something really creative um, trying to get your artwork out there trying to start a photography business whatever it is everything can be creative right um, and you've been feeling a little bit cautious about taking the leap maybe about quitting a job and taking the leap something like that regardless big changes coming in big transformation is coming in and there's every indication that you're going to take that leap because momentum is moving something's coming in so if it's a creative endeavor uh, it looks like you'll get an opportunity. Someone is rushing forward to give you an opportunity. They could have been watching you if you're visible online. Um, they could, they might be, they might see what you do, and they're coming in to offer you a partnership. Um, that could also be the case if this is not a romance unfolding <laughs> with someone who's been hiding their feelings from you. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Five of Pentacles. So this is all about feeling out in the cold, feeling abandoned, feeling a bit lost and alone. You know, the state of the world today, a lot of us are feeling like we're in this state. And the other thing that puts us in this kind of mind frame is too much work. Aquarius, I do kind of feel like I'm talking to an Aquarian today who might have, you know, been going a little bit out of balance, too much work, and then you kind of feel a little bit... Um, cut off from the world you know if you haven't been in lockdown depending on where you are in the world you might have just been working too much and feeling a little cut out in cut out you know cut out from society 
not going out enough, not having enough fun. And it's funny because before I was going to say that this reading has a real playful feeling, and maybe that's what you need, some playful energy coming in. This Knight of Wands coming in is going to bring you out of that state. So if you feel a little bit secluded because you've been working so much or because you've been in lockdown or something like that, this fiery energy is coming in to bring you out of the cold and into the warmth, just straight up, whether that's a person coming in uh, with a spark of passion for you there or whether that's a creative project that's about to take off. Clarify the Two of Cups. Too many there. Clarify. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're going all over the place. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is going to shock you. Now we have the Death card and the Tower card coming out with the Sun. Oh, who's this? And the Knight of Pentacles. Interesting. I didn't see that one drop out. The Tower card. It's kind of like the Death card. This means a complete change in circumstances and one that is always quite shocking and surprising. I love the tower card um, this is never a scary card this is well it can be because it's such a shocking change and it always it's always a big surprise this again is like being sideswiped like you just were not expecting this you were just not expecting this person that maybe you know maybe you don't know them you were not expecting them to have feelings for you you were not expecting that you know someone at work was was interested in headhunting you for a promotion or someone was viewing your um, whatever business you have online and is going to offer you a contract or a partnership you're just not expecting it it comes completely out of the blue that's the tower and it kind of blows up the world as you know it and propels you forward into a whole new world the world you're going into Aquarius is absolutely beautiful with the sun card this is Leo energy here this is the happiest card in the deck this is clarity awareness evolvement happiness this is your dreams coming true look that's you just riding off into the sunset on your white horse there with your wand creating rainbows really that's it Aquarius so whatever's coming in towards you this is what your dreams are made of and it's coming in quickly the thing is with the knight of pentacles here it's taken a long time to come in and this makes sense with the eight of pentacles you've been working hard Aquarius so you've been working hard maybe on yourself maybe as I said on your work prog projects um, this everything here indicates someone that's been working really hard with the knight of pentacles though whatever type of offers coming in here towards you this is the one you want this has substance behind it now remember when I said because we've got the knight of swords and the knight of wands we've got three knights on the board you definitely actions coming towards you Aquarius without fail without a doubt this is the one you want though this kind of balances out the other night so they're coming in with the passion and the speed this one's coming in with substance security stability groundedness this is this has got the goods behind it this knight of pentacles but it can take a long time to come in so you could have been waiting quite a while to uh, get a project off the ground to get a promotion or for a love offer to come in because this is of course clari clarifying uh, the two of cups that's just beautiful though it is going to be quite shocking though it's going to come all of a sudden out of the blue it is going to make you feel very happy though you're going to feel like all your dreams have come at once you really are but you're going to be really shocked which might put you in this defensive mode because <laughs> back to the high priestess here this has been hidden from you and I don't think in a bad sneaky way I just think um just maybe wasn't the right time wasn't the right time for this person to come forward clarify the knight of swords so many knights three knights that's so much action uh, you know the pages bring messages and the knights bring action and you have three we've got the hermit card popping out there anything else on the hermit the ten of cups beautiful the hermit this is virgo energy here this is all about those times where we're kind of in our cave um healing looking at our internal landscapes evolving learning lessons um really elevating to a higher level now Carice, you're often in this state even though you might 
not be conscious of it. This is when we're getting ideas, we're getting inspiration, we're being visionary, we're, you know, sparking those light bulb moments towards a brand new beginning. So this could have been you for quite a bit of time, or it could also be this person coming towards you um, because they've needed to be in the hermit phase. Regardless, this time, whoever it is, whether it's you or another person or a situation that's taken a long time to, you know, incubate, the reason why it's taken a long time is because it's bringing the Ten of Cups. Now, this is complete emotional fulfillment. This is having whatever it is that is happy to you, whether it's a happy family, a happy relationship, you know, a happy uh, life in a country cottage with um, animals surrounding you. Whatever the happiness means for you, whatever ticks all your boxes in that way, whatever fulfills you emotionally, mentally, um, whatever sings to your soul, that's the Ten of Cups. That's what's been kind of cooking. <laughs> the hermit energy always reminds me of something that takes a long time to cook in the oven, but when it comes out, it's absolutely spectacular and it tastes better than anything else could possibly taste. That's why, because it's bringing with it the Ten of Cups and it has picked up speed here with the Knight of Swords. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Well, come back here. Yeah, the Two of Wands. Now look at these two cards. This is really interesting. They're both waiting, aren't they? They're both kind of in a stagnant mode. Now this Ace of, Eight of Pentacles isn't stagnant. That's all about movement starting. But in this car, in this deck, it is kind of depicted by sitting back and waiting for the results. And with the Two of Wands coming out to clarify that, again, this is waiting for results. So you might have been in that stage where you're working and working and you're waiting for the results um, or you're working so much that you haven't had any time for love but you your intuition is kind of tugging you towards that because you're nearly ticking all the boxes you just want that love box ticked in any case the two of wands is all about those ships are coming in and you're just about to make a decision to move forward towards those ships whatever it is for you Aquarius wow this is a really fascinating reading and it's really it's so it's sparking up but what we're getting here now with the backstory is that there's been a lot of kind of still energy with the hermit and the eight of pentacles and the two of wands like just about to move forward but it's been still you're ready for this Aquarius you're ready for this tower moment you're ready to take this leap it's just that you you might have had your head down in work so much that it's just going to shock you and you'll feel a little bit cautious about it clarify the king of wands clarifying the king of wands the queen of wands so we do now have a matched pair on the table so back to a love story here Aquarius this this is a soulmate match the king of queen of wands two very fiery dynamic people here but mainly this is just that energy these people are entrepreneurial they uh, live life rather than let life live them they've got a lot of passion they both work hard towards their goals they both go after what they want this is a true match here Aquarius and it looks like that's what you've been doing going after your goals going after what you want and you've attracted this person your energy you you've freed up your energy somehow maybe by putting so much work into yourself you're attracting your true pair look at this look at this beautifulness we've got the king of queen of wands with the two of cups um, that is a straight up soul connection there again it could be a, a creative partnership made in heaven if you're not dealing with a romance clarify the seven of swords that's his, that's what's coming in towards you it's very exciting clarify the seven of swords Yeah, the Devil card. Tell me one more. Oh, the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> this has been the blockage here, the Seven of Swords. So someone has been um, afraid to take a risk, maybe obsessively thinking about taking this risk. 
And often these two cards coming out together, that does not indicate a good situation. This is this is someone lying and sneaking and being in their shadow side and obsessive energy. But just to prove that that's what it's not, it's coming out with the Ten of Pentacles. So Aquarius, you now have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles on the board. This is, again, like the Ten of Cups, this is total abundance, ticking all the boxes, happy families, happy careers, reaching your goals in every avenue in life up to this point. I mean, of course, we all go on to more desires. We kick our goals and then we go into more. But up until this point, this is reaching them all. What's been blocking this is someone has um, been afraid. The devil energy is all about being afraid. Uh, it's also Capricorn. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn or someone who um, portrays those energies. But this is about someone being very afraid to take a risk, afraid to come forward, afraid to admit what's hidden here. So whether that's you or whether this uh, that's this person coming towards you, this is someone feeling afraid, maybe obsessively thinking um, about this situation and it's been stopping them from coming forward. Boy, are they in a rush to get there now though. Clarify the death card. You know, they might know, this is pretty heavy, if they know, if they have an inkling that you're there, if they're even thinking that you're their perfect match, we put so much pressure on ourselves then, don't we? Like, how do we come forward? What do we do? Um, someone's had a hard time coming forward here and has had to go inside and think about that, but uh, that, that's all being released. Clarify the death card. Ace of Pentacles, that's your change, an abundant offer, and where I was in abundant, oh my god, we've got the King of Wands again, <laughs> this King of Wands is definitely coming in Aquarius, and male or female, they're coming in with a huge offer, the Ace of Pentacles here, if there's any Ace you want on the board, this is clarifying the death card, so this is your brand new beginning. If there's any ace you want, it's this one. The ace of pentacles is stable, secure, grounded. It is abundance. It's all of the elements rolled into one. It can mean material abundance too. So again, if we're talking about a creative project here that you've been scared to take a risk on and your own ego, the devil um, is all about your ego stopping something blocking you from taking a risk due to fears so if that's been blocking you the abundance is on the way so take that leap Aquarius take the leap you're excellent at taking leaps into your uh, projects take the leap it's going to be worth it because this abundance is waiting for you once you do uh, this is coming out with the king of wands again though so whether this is a creative partner or this is your this intense soul connection coming in they're coming in and they're the ones that are transforming this situation again could be um aries leo sagittarius energy here but this is a dynamic person who is rushing forward to take action they know what they want they're coming in to get it and they want you aquarius whether that's in a love situation or a career situation or someone wanting to work with you we do have the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups so that's both i mean you could be working and falling in love with this person <laughs> with the four of cups here this is your advice aquarius if this is you or if this is a cross watcher the other person i don't think so though because this king of wands is raring to go um, this is when nothing's been happening um, it's when we're kind of sitting there doing too much work a little bit bored and frustrated not noticing that there's a shining cup behind us ready to grab so Aquarius, if you do feel a little bit defensive, a little bit like this is taking too much of a risk and you go into your ego mind, the fear-based mind, just remember that uh, this risk is, is worth it. It is going to transform your whole life. It's just that it's going to create such a big change that you might feel quite a bit of fear surrounding that. Um, this is just a reading, so it's just a possibility. So you need to use your intuition in order to... Um, make your way forward but everything on this board says that this new beginning is a beautiful beautiful one and it's going to propel you forward into a whole new cycle of life whether it's love or a creative endeavor that's really really beautiful and super exciting Aquarius 
um wow i hope i've helped you today if so please like the video hit subscribe and uh, leave me a comment let me know what's going on here i'd be fascinated to know um aquarius have a great week and i'm excited to see you next time bye